Yeah, the iHeartRadio Instagram account showed us that Cowboy Carter had arrived at the Dolby Theater with time to spare before Stevie Wonder presented her with the Innovator Award. Hi. Love you, Beyonce. Sean Carter and Blue Ivy Carter accompanied her. As she made her way through the Dolby Theater lobby, you can imagine that people started to join her entourage, so to speak, or you know, follow in her wake, which put bodyguard Julius on alert. A young mom pushed her way past Blue Ivy to get her daughter Sarah into Beyonce's eyeline. Because surely the three-year-old was just dying to meet. Oh, have you met my Barbie? <laughs> Hey, I'm not faulting the mom. If I had a cute kid, I was standing there, I had a chance to possibly talk to Beyonce, I'm going to use that kid to my advantage. <laughs> After Beyonce's polite interaction with Sarah, she made sure that her own cute kid, Blue Ivy, was still with her as they kept moving. <laughs> Beyonce even stopped to get in on a selfie with a fan who was hoping to just get a shot of B as she passed by. Beyonce is taking selfies, people. Now, I heard radio didn't have to wonder if Beyonce was there or not. She was right side stage as Stevie Wonder began his introduction to her as he presented her with the Innovator Award. Beyonce! <laughs> Once B joined Stevie on stage, I heard radio caught SZA having a moment seeing B right in front of her. Now, completely random sidebar. Like, I saw that video that iHeartRadio posted. I thought, okay, I'll watch the whole thing and see what this does. Over the years, I have been amazed, dumbfounded, um, really questioned how female celebrities are so confident in a double-sided tape when they wear some of these outfits. Like, no matter what movement they do, I've never seen any celebrities concerned about, you know, things staying in place. Finally, I feel... Validated. Since it takes a moment to make sure that everything is still in place. It was so refreshing to see, and to be clear, and I hate how I have to put these disclaimers in here now, I'm not dissing SZA, I'm not making fun of SZA, I'm not laughing at SZA. I'm just literally saying that I've never seen this before with a female celebrity actually check. I'm honestly just happy to see someone check. <laughs> I've never seen this before, so yeah, that's all I'm pointing out, okay? Okay, that's all I'm saying, okay, back to B. In every award show, my hope is that we're more open to the joy and liberation that comes from enjoying art with no preconceived notions. After Beyonce was finished her speech and the show went to commercial break, <laughs> B made sure to lead Stevie carefully off the stage all the way into the wings before Stevie's assistant took over leading the way. <laughs> Beyonce also posed for some photos with Katy Perry, but even more importantly for iHeartRadio, Beyonce, can't believe this, she posed in front of the Step and Repeat, which is named for that banner behind Beyonce, which features the Yahoo Radio logo over and over again. So whatever photo was taken there, the logo is going to be in the frame. And Beyonce posted two of those images on her own Instagram, so she showcased Iheart Radio's logo, who has 2.4 million followers, to her 320 million followers. You know I'm going to say it, because I've said it before, and this Iheart Radio appearance fits that narrative, but the Grammys haven't gotten Beyonce standing in front of a logo since uh, 2017. And the last four years... Beyonce has been unable to arrive at the Grammys on time um, to the downtown LA arena because of traffic and she arrived at this arena in downtown LA with time to spare. Hmm. And once again I realized I need to put this disclaimer that me bringing up this whole like Beyonce isn't giving the Grammys any freebies anymore it's not me dissing Beyonce it's not me being critical of Beyonce just pointing out <laughs> the circumstances and putting two and two together. Yeah, sure, maybe somehow she just has been stuck in traffic the last four years. And she hasn't bothered to stand in front of a little Grammy logo for the last six years. Yeah, maybe it's all coincidence. Beyonce is completely justifiable in having a somewhat cold shoulder towards the Grammys now, but still being respectful of them. If you don't buy my explanation of putting all these weird circumstances that have played out the last few years with the, with the Grammys, fine. But yeah, I'm not being critical or dissing Beyonce in any kind of way. But yeah, what did you think of Beyonce's appearance at the iHeartRadio Awards last night?